Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name's Matt. Uh, I got a fun adventure for us today. We're gonna go rescue a big rusty piece of iron. My favorite kind. We come out here to where are we Blairsville PA Hillside PA to find an old galleon grader sitting here this is a 503 model it's been sitting for 10 years it's got an international engine and hopefully we can get this baby fired up and put onto the trailer pretty rough inside and out but this should be good for fixing up the driveway at the farm I guess it's at this point now that I have to break the bad news to you guys. Bad news is I lost a ton of footage from the day that we went out and recorded this. Uh, I took my buddy Mike out here and we went and looked at this thing and dove right on in here. He's uh, starting to disassemble the carburetor right now because surely it's uh, all gummed up after sitting for 10 years. Uh, the fuel tank is really nasty inside. It's got a bunch of uh, rocks actually at the bottom of the tank. Looks like somebody was probably dropping rocks in it to check the level, you know, look for the splash. But it's not too rusty, just a lot of varnished up fuel. And uh, so I bought a new camera, this Hero 9 Black from GoPro. I've had good luck with the GoPros in the past. I know a lot of people don't like them. And maybe this one's going to change my opinion of it because uh, I've heard good things about it. So I went and picked it up and... Uh, been having a lot of issues with it. Uh, as I said, I lost a bunch of footage from this day. Some of it was the best footage here. Um, <clears throat> so, if it feels like the video skipping parts and you're missing things, uh, it's not you. It's I'm just piecing this together with the best of the footage that I have left. So hopefully, it's something still watchable, and you guys uh, don't get too mad at me because I really am doing the best with what I got left. Several times I kept checking the camera, the red light was blinking, all signs indicated that it was still functioning correctly, and lo and behold, I go to check the playback and the footage is just gone. So uh, several times it prompted me about a memory card issue, I formatted it and still had issues, I'm not sure what to say. But I hope you guys enjoy what's left of this video and hope it's uh, something still entertaining for you. Thumbs up for effort, guys. Well, I brought jumpers, so we don't even need to worry about the key. I can bypass it out here. Another house port, house paint, house porch paint, paint job. <laughs> Okay, when you put put this float back in, you gotta push it this way. See that little spring? It'll catch. It'll catch it go on there, and the spring will hit off of okay. this. Okay. See what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's all gummed off right there. Yep. Huh? Never messed up this kind of car. I haven't either. We we'll figure it out on the spot. Been there, done that. Soaker in there. Should have brought a brought an air tank. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm working on making a new bowl gasket for this carburetor. It kind of fell apart a little bit when we took it apart. This piece of rubber was covering up the fuel tank, so we should be able to trace out a new gasket, hopefully. Pop her on there just for temporary sake.
All right, well, sitting 10 years is a long time for an engine to be sitting without getting some oil in the piston, so ideally we're gonna pop these plugs out, spray some oil down in there and help lube things up when we first start cranking it over. We did grab a hold of the fan and confirm that we got a little bit of movement out of it, so it's not locked up. And plug number one looks good. That's a good sign. Plug number two looks good as well. Well, I bet you this baby is just going to sip on the gas, huh? All right, so we have pulled our dipstick. The oil looks good here. We're almost to the full, which is plenty good enough for me. Uh, doesn't look like there's any water in it or anything. Plugs all came out easy. That's good. I uh, sprayed a whole crap ton of oil in every cylinder now. So when it comes time, we can turn the engine over nice and easy without any compression going on. And uh, yeah, right now, pull off this distributor cap sand up our points because I'm sure they are more than crusty for sitting 10 years yeah we've got yeah pretty pretty gnarly so right here you got your breaker points you got a condenser we're gonna take uh, your wife's emery board jam it down between these points and sand them up here a little bit see all that staining coming up onto the emery board that's all the gunk we're sanding off of these points Now I'll flip it around to the clean side, give it one more quick shave, and then uh, blow those out. <laughs> so our points in the cap here got a little bit of, uh, I don't know what you even call that, but it, we clean those up a little bit with the emery board too. They're not too bad, I've seen a lot worse. Well, we got the electrical system tore into here. We uh, bypassed the key since we don't have one. It's time to toss a battery in here and see if this thing burns. Okay, well, we got a battery into this thing. The electrical system's not really uh, electrifying the way it's supposed to, but we're losing daylight here. So we got to get this thing cranking over. Uh, might get a pretty good spurt out of here. I did put a good bit of oil in. So. Whenever you're ready, buddy. Uh -huh. Alright. Give her. Kinda slow. Yeah. I got another battery and jumpers if we need it. Alright, let's take three. We think we got some electrical bugs figured out here. Alright. Give her. Spinning over a good bit faster, that sounds better. Well, I think we're probably ready for plugs and some fuel, huh? Oh yeah. Contact. Try it again. Give her. Uh, the starter is just not spinning.
believe how good this thing runs, man. Very first time it pops off to sit here and idle. Well, the GoPro's giving me issues, so we're on my phone right now, but there's the place where it's been sitting for 10 years at least. She's pretty well sunk into the ground. Lots of trees got decapitated pulling it out of there. Don't worry, there's still plenty stuck in the machine. Well, there she is all loaded up. GoPro's giving me issues, so I'm on the phone, but got her out of her sleeping place for 10 years, put her up on the trailer. About ready to be eastbound and down.
you know your piece of equipment's been sitting a long time when the uh, trees grown up through it are ripped out by the roots. <laughs> I got everything hooked back up in here. Well, most everything. We got a uh, little bit of wiring stuff going on here. Holy crap! <laughs> that thing just touched off like nothing. Wow! I wasn't even trying to start it yet. I was just confirming which wire I had to touch it to. Holy crap, that thing started right up. <laughs> That's awesome. So what we need to do, I got to fire it up in neutral first. And I got to lift up the circle and spin the blade and everything and get it up as high as I can to clear the uh, beaver tail on the deck here. And uh, once we get the blade out of the way, then I'll shut it down, start it in gear again. Uh... Well, actually, I'll shut it down, put it in gear, disconnect the chain that's holding it onto the trailer right now because we are on a, a bit of a slope here. And then I'll start it up and we should be able to just drive off into the sunset. truth this can go uh, good or this could go real bad I got to shut it down put it in gear disconnect the chain that's holding it on the trailer and then uh, we're ready to go well that's not the way I wanted to play this but I'm gonna go get the excavator and just pick up the nose and drag it off of here that way I don't get hurt the machine doesn't get hurt the trailer doesn't get hurt and my fence doesn't get hurt here so uh, more work than it needs to be. got something strange going on here now because this thing pulled real easy with the pickup uh, the other day when I picked it up 
been cold for a few days it maybe there's water in the gear case or something and it's frozen right now but i just tried to pull it with the excavator and the wheels are skidding and it's in neutral so i don't know we got something really fishy going on here the only thing i can figure is that there's either something frozen inside of the gearbox of the transmission or it's stuck between gears somehow which i don't think so because it seemed like it shifted in and out of the fourth pretty easy it's just the other ones that kind of you know you gotta rock the tranny sometimes to get it into gear I don't know, but I gotta get it off the trailer. Well, sometimes you actually hate to be right. I didn't pull it yet, but I started to, I pulled the fill plug on the transmission and I could see the fluid was a little milky. And then I started pulling the drain plug here and I saw a drop of water coming out. So I figured I'd get you guys and we'll see what comes out of here. That ain't good. That's a big old hunk of ice. That ain't gonna let nothing turn. Ugh. I gotta get like a block heater or something going on this thing, try and get it warm enough that at least I can get it off the trailer and then I'll build a little fire under this thing or something, heat that whole case up and let it drain out good. Yeah, if it ain't one thing, it's another, huh? difference on a casting like that you can end up cracking it or something I, uh, just gonna keep the heat kind of low and just let it kind of slowly warm it up under there hopefully seems to be an occurring theme with this video that I'm just missing all the good stuff that uh, that could have ended really badly I had the torch heating up the transmission and I had the wheels chalked with a uh, piece of branch pretty good sized piece of branch I didn't think it'd go anywhere and I had it in fourth gear too, which is the highest gear. So it, you know, the motor should have held it back quite a bit. And uh, when the ice finally hit that magical moment, when everything freed up in the transmission, this thing just took off. The wheel chalk that I had. Well, yeah, that could have ended badly. This video is actually one that I was able to partially recover. That's why it kind of jumbles at the end there. But anyway, yeah, the wheel chalk just exploded as uh, the tranny freed up and this thing careened off the trailer. I was half on the step can contemplating jumping in it and riding it out trying to steer it away from the fence but i figured uh, better to replace a fence post than a broken leg so that's where it sat but yeah, it hit the fence post pretty hard uh a real shame i didn't have the cameras going for that one yeah some of you are probably thinking matt maybe you shouldn't be draining oil right around an open flame but uh i don't know i think i've already already lived through the most dangerous thing that's going to happen today so we're just going to gamble with it i don't think this stuff's going to be very flammable it's probably 30 weight mixed with a lot of water yep Ugh. i haven't even seen much oil yet there we go now we got oil man temperature of the fluid is probably 50 or 60 degrees so most of the ice should be broken up in there I'm gonna let this thing sit here and cook on it for a while yet get the internal temperature of that big huge case up to something pretty warm make sure all that ice is really out of there before I go plugging it and putting something back in it Also, now that all the ice is apparently out of the transmission, it shifts nice and easy through all these gears. So that's definitely a good sign. 
some good oil in there now will uh, probably make it shift real easy. And the blows just keep on coming. I uh, fired it up and went to move the blade a little bit. I was going to try and lift the uh, machine up just a hair to try and get any little bit of water left in the bottom of that case out into the pan. And uh, lo and behold, this hydraulic line blew. Well, not this particular one, the one that ran from here to here blew. Sprayed the whole cab and uh, nearly got me. Got a little bit of mist, but not too bad. I've had worse. So, quick run of the parts store. Got a new hose made up. We'll uh, jam that on there. And I think we're just about ready to get this thing off of my fence. And at least I got to get it out of the field tonight. Uh, I don't have the oil to fill up that case. And I got to find out exactly which kind of oil I'm supposed to put in there. I think it's supposed to be 30 weight, but I don't know for sure. So, before I go put the wrong thing in there, I'm going to back this out of here and drive it just up there. And uh, I shouldn't need any oil in the transmission to do that. And the beatings will continue until the morale improves. I put the new line on and in the process busted out the old steel hard line running up here. I can already tell that all of these lines are probably going to end up needing replaced. Uh, they're all in pretty sad shape. That's going to be expensive. But the plus side of that is when I'm done, shouldn't have any more issues for a long, long time. That is a big bummer, though. Okay, this should be the first drive under its own power. I'm going to put it in reverse, start it. It should back away from the fence. And all the while, while it's moving, I'm going to be holding the clutch down and stabbing the brakes, trying to get that clutch to break loose. Okay, contact. The battery does not have enough juice to pull me away from the fence. I'm going to have to use the excavator, pull me back from the fence, and then since I'm aiming downhill, it should, in first gear, have plenty of power with the starter to get me going forward. must be possessed or something it's just trying to cause mayhem wherever it goes but at least I finally caught something on film I think I pulled it backwards and apparently I still have the ignition system on wasn't thinking I left it in gear it it bump started itself in reverse there and was running up on the hoe I tried to stop it started running up on the bucket holy crap finally got it to stall itself out but man having some luck with this thing today, huh? Shoo! I, I can't even make this stuff up. Like, the punches just keep coming. I thought this thing was going to be fun and easy little project to work on. I didn't think it was that bad. Oh, look at this. I didn't run the chain like that. It ran over itself. I, it started coming at me, <laughs> and with no way to stop it in the machine, I just stuck the bucket out in front of the rear tire, figured that'll stall it out. <laughs> it didn't the tire actually rode clear up over top of the bucket and I didn't want it to get into the machine at all so I pulled pulled out from underneath of it and you know the chain did its thing just like you can see there and uh, finally stalled out but that was another close call I'm just like full of OSHA violations today do I need to sing the OSHA song again I'm with me and you'll see a world of OSHA violations. prevailed finally over the old Spanish galleon up there finally got that thing driven up out of this field holy crap felt like I was in a boxing match with that thing plagued with nothing but camera issues 
machinery issues, dumb luck, and stupidity. I'm combating all those things to get you this video, guys. I really hope you like it. It's, it's missing some footage because of the camera issues, but what can I do? Now I gotta fix my fence post. Here we are back a couple days later. It's about uh, 30 degrees right now, and it was, you know, mid 20s overnight, I think. Maybe even a little lower. She definitely still needs some tweaking, uh, but once you fiddle with some stuff, it'll sit here and idle pretty nice. All things considered, I think that's pretty darn good for uh, this thing haven't really run in, in the last 10 years except for what we did to get it on the trailer and uh, off the trailer and driven up here. So maybe we have an hour back on this engine since, uh, since I started messing with it, but I gotta order a carb kit and get that rebuilt and uh, about to throw in some transmission fluid so we can try and break this clutch loose again today. We'll let it warm up good, then I'm gonna go ahead and try and shut it off, start it in gear, and back it up somewhere where I can uh, work. It's actually in like a big muddy spot right here, and though the ground's frozen, it's not quite frozen enough to work on the wet spot. got me a brand new bucket of uh, 8090 weight here I got my little transfer pump I got it I got it plumbed into the back of the transmission case here and we're gonna go ahead and start pumping it and when it starts coming out that hole we know it's full and it's cold so 8090 weights awful thick right now I'm sure this is gonna be a load of fun to pump Well, it's too cold to use that pump. It just wouldn't even pick the oil up at all. So I uh, came up with this uh, extended funnel I scrounged together out of some spare parts and stuff. And it took darn near the whole bucket. I maybe have maybe a quarter or so left in this bucket. But we're right at the fill plug now. So put the plug in. We can uh, get this thing fired back up and go for a little drive. All 
Right now that we got our gearbox filled back up, I'm going to go ahead and drive this thing back to the shipping container shop. And all the while I'm going down the driveway, I'm going to be holding the clutch down and jabbing the brakes trying to free up that clutch still. Well, unfortunately, no dice. I, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to have to do to get that clutch broke loose, I guess. Worst come to worst, we're going to have to yank the motor out and uh, knock that pressure plate loose. But I just dumped a gallon of fuel in it right before I tried that. And from here to the end of the laneway and back, that gallon of fuel is gone. <laughs> so I got to get this carb rebuilt. Uh, I don't think it was going through fuel this bad the other day, right after we did it. But... It's even, it freezes up down here while it's running, which is a bit weird to me. I've never seen one do that. It, it gets all frosty. So, definitely needs rebuilt, definitely needs overhauled. But I guess that's the end of this video, guys. The next video on this grader, uh, I don't think it's going to be too long because I do want to use it. So, we're going to get some hydraulic lines made for it. We're going to rebuild the carburetor, clean out the fuel tank, change the oil in the motor, and probably a few other little things. Oh, definitely a tire too so even though it's got its quirks and its problems and it's uh putting up one heck of a fight i'm happy with my purchase here i don't remember if i told you guys but i gave the guy 2500 bucks for this thing and yeah it's a little rough around the edges and maybe i could have got him down some more but i don't know i'm happy with it and it's uh gonna be a heck of an improvement for maintaining this driveway i got because she is a long one and it's not even done down there in the future we're going to be extending it down and making a right and running out that way for a while so lots of driveway to maintain here that means that alone will pay for this old girl and then if i get it fixed up nice i can take it out and do other jobs with it and stuff too so that'll be fun anyways guys if you like the video don't be afraid to hit the thumbs up button and uh, if you haven't already might want to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more updates on the old grader project as well as countless other projects i've got going on here as for all the other projects i've got going on you guys have been loud and clear maybe i should finish some before i keep taking more on and you're right i've been absolutely thinking that for a while the problem is i find stuff like this and i just can't help myself like you don't see a teeny well, it's not teeny but a small grader like this show up every day it's hard to find so you know the time to buy is when you see it so that's what i did such is the case for lots of other projects i start but we are going to get to all of them eventually. At, uh, I've got plenty of time. As long as you guys keep coming back, I'll keep recording them. Until the next time, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Later.